I had to scrounge from one friend to another to make things happen. It was almost close to impossible. And good afternoon. I am Victor Sedambe. I am the managing director of CEDAS Group, which is as a result of CEDAS Security Company that has given birth to an IT company called Cabot, to a construction company called TGI. These companies was as a result of this dream one had, I would basically say 24 years ago. Due to that, one has never looked back. I have given my all. It is so beautiful, the question that you have given me. I started this company 24 years ago, literally from a 10 rands e account that I had. I formed this company, literally, I will say this word, from a zero pass. When I started this company, I knew something had to happen. It, whether I had nothing or whether I had something, but something had to happen, I said to myself, my parents took it so hard to take me to where I am. I'm happy to have matriculated, but I then said, this metric should be a gift that I got from my parents. I want to change my life for the best. I exactly did what my dream my wish, my vision told me. I worked so hard. I had to move, drive in trains day in, day out to make things happen. It's so sad uh, uh, to tell you that funding never came by. We, I went to each and every bank and I was never given the funding in such a way that I couldn't even get an account to one of the suppliers of uniform, of equipment, due to the fact that I never had a record. You need to have a record to have a relationship with the bank. You need to have a beautiful account to deal with these suppliers of this equipment. I had to scrounge from one friend to another to make things happen. It was almost close to impossible. One, if it was not this drive, one head, I had to just turn back and close the shop and go back and look at my company and look at work because support from the banks was never forthcoming. Support from the suppliers of material was never forthcoming. Really lovely question. The sacrifice that one goes through is there are things that you forego. There are things that when the first invoice comes to you, that is we have worked, and there are things that come, you have to stop every excitement that comes with it. You know that once you have a certain amount of money in your bank account that is dropped for the first time, the first thing that comes into mind is a beautiful house, it's a beautiful car, it's beautiful clothes. But one we had to do was to say, I want to focus, I want to put my all, I want to make my company stable first. With the leaky funds that have dropped in, let me look at stabilizer. Let me look at putting resources into making this machine a beautiful machine so that it can be recognized in the future. It only comes from us. It all comes from every individual. That is me as a businessman. I said, I will focus. I will give it my all until such time that I can know that I'm not eating the capital of the business. I am now eating the profits. Nothing else but discipline. You remember if you want to achieve a goal, if you are a soccer player, you need to train every day. If you want to be a, 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 a businessman, you need to be disciplined. You must be exemplary to your employees. You must be exemplary to everyone who looks at you and looks at you as a businessman. Show that in you. You come first. You must be the first in your offices. You must be the last in your offices. You must be seen to work on a Saturday, on a Sunday. When you tell people that we have to work, they must see it in you. 
They must see it in your eyes. They must see it in your face. They must see it in the way you dress. Some more of the business that I've seen, they actually come with shorts in their offices. I don't do that. I, if it means I must put on uniform, I have to put it on 24-7 so that I can act and behave and work and talk as an example to those that are following me. In our company, we have actually taken a policy. It actually becomes one of our policies to say, we are not going to get outside people to occupy any senior position. We are going to develop them with the slicky skills that they have to those senior positions. I will talk of my CFO, which is the chief financial officer of the company. She came in as a receptionist with a certificate in accounts. Today, she holds a degree in accounts. She is now doing masters in accounts. This is the development that we do. We have managers from different positions. We have engineers within the company. We have supervisors within the company that came in with only certificates. Today, they hold degrees, they hold diplomas from various institutions, sponsored, funded by the company. That makes them indebted to the company. That makes them not to be driven or supervised. They become supervisors themselves because they feel internally in themselves they owe the company a great deal. We don't want anyone in our company to be supervised. Our belief in our policy is that if you get a sup somebody to be supervised, you will get another one to supervise the supervisor. You will get a supervisor to supervise the supervisor to supervise. So what we then said, to eradicate this chain, let we get everybody to be a leader. Let's get everybody to feel guilty if they don't do anything because this company is everything and everything to them. I am saying it is possible. It is possible. It is doable. Get the right advices. Get the right people. I'm one of the people that is lifting up my hand. Come to me. I am grateful to say I have walked this road without any advice, but I'm availing myself. Come, talk to me, discuss with me. I have seen it all. Stand up, look for all those that have been in it so that they can guide you, so that they can give you direction, so that they can tell you. Have mentors. I think we need to have mentors one way or the other. And I'm one of the mentors that's available in this country to say, let me hold your hand. Let me take you across the road. My name is Victor Ngobasi Dambe. You are watching Black Excellence Series brought to you by Benita Daniels. Thank <laughs> you.